Okay, guys, we're back inside of Helldivers 2, and the team at Arrowhead seem to have woken up, gotten out of bed this morning, and seemed to be a little bit mischievous, because the CEO of Arrowhead has got some cryptic messages alongside some funny tweets. Yet again, this guy seems to make me laugh every time he picks up his phone. It's hilarious. But nonetheless, we have also got something coming from Joel of him giving things away. Or not giving things away? Don't worry, you'll know what I mean in a moment, but you guys are going to be the judgment call on that one. Anywho, anyway, let's get into the video. If you haven't already, smash that beautiful blue thumbs up and subscribe with post notifications turned on. It'd be greatly appreciated. On top of that, check out our sponsor, Advanced GG, the number one clinically proven energy supplement on the market. My favorite flavor is cherry vanilla, but you guys can catch an array of flavors via the link in the description. Use code cloud at checkout for a cheeky discount. And with that being said, let's take a look at what's going on inside of Helldivers. So... We had a cryptic message coming from the CEO of Arrowhead, which sprung off onto so much stuff, it's absolutely insane. But the original tweet actually stated, Strategic meeting with Democratic Council. We have decided that Super Earth and its citizens need more officially regulated and mandated freedom. What on earth does that mean? Now, I have no idea where this is coming from, but essentially what we're seeing was that from the end of the major order, there was actually a point where we failed it. And then there was a post stating that appropriation was now obviously on hold for certain planets. And this was a little bit of a weird one to say the least, but I'm presuming it's got something to do with the major order that's due to be coming up as we are close to finishing this one this weekend. I'm a little bit excited to see where this one goes, but this tweet just sprung off into whole different realms. You guys have got no idea. Somebody posted up a tweet stating, need this democratic weapon, and it was obviously a minigun. This obviously is not real, as I know of. It's not being kind of like data mined out of anything, but it is a very good image all the same. And if it is real, well, then I'm really sorry. We've just shown you guys a minigun that may actually exist. Nonetheless, this thing connects up to a backpack via a rail point and uh, looks pretty damn cool. Now, the CEO actually stated for this, Gatling guns as support weapons are cool, but only if they accurately represent the insane recoil. We may, but it will require some real cool mechanics. Now, this was really interesting because what he's essentially saying is that he's going to be working on new weaponry on support weapons, and this could potentially be something that they may end up doing in the future. Now, somebody actually responded to that, stating you could add a deployable tripod that means to kill recoil. You kill your own own ability to move three second deploy time three seconds pack it up time and if you are in undeployed mode recoil should be savage unless a second player is helping you keep it stable holding a second rail now this is where the ceo actually stated in a tweet this was the idea for the hmg also known as the heavy machine gun and then followed up that tweet straight away with never mind there's no such thing as a heavy machine gun so this guy just literally tries so hard to play around with the community it is absolutely hilarious although it has pretty much solidified that the heavy machine gun is due to be coming quite soon. We saw this with the flying bugs. Bugs don't fly. Remember that. That's all I'm going to say. The heavy machine gun should be here very soon. Now, somebody else commented on this thread and stated, Insane Recoil runs out of ammo in 15 seconds. And then the CEO came up with a really cool idea stating, yeah, or a teammate carries the drum. Something cool. Now, this would obviously entail a backpack mechanic, a bit like the ammunition mechanics where we have the rifle and they just kind of like load it up via a backpack. I don't like the concept. I understand it and I kind of get where it's coming from, but it's just not for me. If you guys do enjoy this, let me know via the comment section below. But like, it's just not something that I really enjoy doing. Now, based on the original tweet, we had a good friend Higgs actually comment on that, stating liberate to procreate and the CEO stated too much freedom for now. So overall, Twitter's been absolutely on fire just recently. The CEO has kind of dropped a few hints that some things are definitely true and or coming and has also given us a cryptic message which makes no sense to me at all now i have seen it going up on reddit although haven't yet seen a valid enough response to it yet as to what it could potentially mean so make sure you get into the comment section and give me your guys ideas of what this could potentially be 
Really interesting one, and I wish this guy would pick up his phone more often because it gives me a chuckle during my general work day on a normal 9 to 5. Nonetheless, though, we have got another Arrowhead employee that's been doing some suspicious things right now. But before we get into that, we guys want to give you a giveaway for a copy of Helldivers 2. We've just given away the other copy. Massive shout out to the winner of that is posted in the community page and in the Discord and actually got a hold of us and posted it in. Nonetheless, though, if you guys want to get involved with this giveaway today, all you have to do is go down to the comment section and stick in a black heart. Now, the black heart is going to represent a certain vehicle that you guys are going to see in just a moment. So get down to the comment section, stick a black heart in the comment section, and we can start rolling with some Hell Divers love and give you guys a copy of Hell Divers too. Nonetheless, let's get into the rest of the video as Joel, apparently, Mr. Arrowhead Joel, seems to be in the game just giving people vehicles. As you can see right here, there was a character in the game called A.H. Joel and said pretty much, here's a truck, take this, I need to go back to work. Dropped a truck and then left. Uh, now, this may not have been Joel, and I do not think that it was, although, for the sake of the roleplay service, I would love to think that this is Joel just doing a bit of leaking inside of the community and doing things to help give community creators and stuff like that some content to work off of. Not only that, but it just generates ten times the amount of hype of a normal post just posted up on Instagram or something. This is a great way of doing things, and if this was Joel, then massive shout out to him. I love that you are doing this. If it's not Joel, well, then some of you guys have got way too much time on your PCs to be able to dig into a file and find this truck, which not many people have actually seen yet. As far as I'm aware, this is the first official gameplay of it. People have seen 3D modeling, so they've seen some images and stuff like that, but this is officially the first gameplay of this truck. Now, this thing is freaking ginormous. It looks absolutely insane, and it does look like a hell of a lot lot of fun. But I don't know when this thing is going to be coming or if it is even going to be coming. We may be waiting a long time for it, but either way, this is a vehicle that I would love to get my hands on because I think that it would be such a fun time. Now, a lot of you guys have been contacting me on Discord via our server, which we are now at around 8,000 of you guys down there. It's crazy. The link is in the description. Go and join in with the rest of the Helldivers having a load of fun. Messaging me to try and get hold of me to see if I want to actively play with these myself. Now, the thing with this one is quite big for me. I actually love the leak news. I love the images. I love doing the research and bringing you guys all of this awesome content, although don't really want to spoil the game for myself in that regard. So, if we could halt on the messages of trying to get me to play leaked content that'd be absolutely phenomenal but this thing this thing is pretty crazy and if you guys have managed to get your hands on it via the in-game files well then good luck with that one and hopefully that is a load of fun and i can't wait to see when it's going to come at the moment the only vehicle we've got is the mech but there is also sort of like a doom buggy jeep thing with a minigun on the back and now we've got this big tanky thing it's going to get a little bit crazy and by this time next year i'm actually Actually petrified to know where this war is at and how bigger it's got and what things we've actually got to use because I feel like it's going to get a little bit nutty over the next six months or so. Nonetheless though that's unfortunately all we've got time for today. You will notice in the background gameplay we're on Malevolon Creek and your boy is playing sneaky because Jesus I do not like these robots. They are good fun but it does make me play in a stealth format because I just can't take the missile snipers anymore. But we've got around 14, 15,000 over on Malevolon Creek right now, which has normally been at about 6,000. This week, we are hitting it as hard as we can. So if you guys could push that message along, it'd be absolutely great. Either share the video or get into the comment section and just post in there, it's Creek Week. That would be incredible. Anywho, that's all we've got time for today. Let's see if we can build those numbers up in Malevolon Creek and finally take it away from Joel's grasps. Thank you so much again for watching. Appreciate your faces. Like, subscribe, and as always, I'll see you in the clouds.